we need to keep our minds staying upon the Lord. People come into the house of God with so much baggage. Oh, help me, church. They come in with so much baggage. Now, Brother Port, they come in with a mess on the mind. Amen. How about we start shaking it off at the door? Amen. I'm telling you right now. He said in order to, to reign with him on high, oh, honey, we're going to have to suffer with him. We're going to have to walk through him. Church, amen. Amen. Be quiet on me tonight. Amen. I said we're going to have to suffer. We're going to have to walk through trials and tribulations. Oh, but Amanda, I'm telling you right now, this same Jesus that saved us, that cleaned us up, amen, will take us all the way through. Amen. But in his word, he said, in verse 30, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Amen. It's not the signs that you and I can do. Amen. It's the signs that we can do through him. Amen. We can't save them, brother. We can't do nothing for them. Oh, but it takes Jesus. It takes the blood. I said it takes the Shekinah glory of God. Amen. We can't do we can't manage this on our own. It'll take him every single time. Turn that word over my life. Amen. Over my span of the little time that I've been on earth. That sister Amanda. I need him more than the air that I breathe. I can't even walk without him holding my hand. I can't even talk without him talking through me. Amen. Because I mess up every time. Come on, brother. Amen, boys. Oh, but we find here in verse 31, and when they had prayed, uh, the place was shaken. Amen. We can stop right there for a moment. When they prayed, it didn't just say when Gary prayed. Amen. There's something about a corporate prayer. They all prayed. Oh, come on, church. Come on now. Give the Lord a shout right now. Oh, come on now. I said when they all prayed. Amen. When they all come together, amen. A glory to God. Amen. When they all did what they were supposed to do for God. Amen. When they all did, amen, what God would have them do. And they started out in the house of God. And they began to pray. They began to seek the Lord. They began to tarry. Amen. Until they see the move of God. It's time that the church get back on the altar. Oh, come on, Brother Dolly. I said, amen. No man can do anything but him. Oh, I take that back. The only thing we can do is make a mess. The only thing we can do, Amanda, is make a mess of things. We get in the way of the Lord. I stood back against that wall over there. Hey Amen. And I seen people getting in while the game's good. Hey Amen. My brother Pork, I seen people stepping in the water. Hey Amen. The Lord began to speak to me and I told Samantha. I said the miracles in the water. Hey Amen. The miracles in the Holy Ghost. Hey Amen. So whatever you need, sister, it's in the water. Hey Amen. The waters are troubled tonight. Hey Amen. For what you need. Hey Amen. Friend, that's why the Holy Ghost showed up for you. Amen. For you. Oh, let me say that again. For you. For you. For you. Every single one of us. He showed up. Amen. With an old time word, sister. So that we can get a touch from heaven. We find here reading on downward. It says, and the place was shaking. Aren't you glad that he can shake the house? Amen. 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 When the Holy Ghost shows up. Amen. Amen. It's not all in the music. I said it ain't all in the music. I watched the music stop. Amen. And I've seen them shut the floor down. Amen. Too many of them get up with the hotness of the music. Amen. And they dance to the beat of the music. Oh, let me just preach to Gary for a minute. Amen. They get all a mess. Amen. With all of the other things. And that's not bad. Amen. But I want to dance because he's got a pep in my step. Because Jesus showed up. Hey, honey, he moved. He talked. Yeah. 
But then he goes on and he says, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Did you notice, brother? Yeah, that the place was shaking first. Oh, there was something that shook off. I said there was something that shook off. And you want to know what it was? It was the things that they carried in the door. Hey, I'm going to tell you, that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were in the fire furnace, oh, there was not one hair of sins. There was not Amen. one thing changed except the bondage, the things that were wrapped about their heads Amen. and feet. Amen. There's freedom where the Spirit Amen. of the Lord is. There is liberty. There is freedom. There is power. There is an anointing that destroys the old. Too many people are walking around with yokes. Lord, show me something, Brother Gary. I sat there, Sister Samantha, seen the most bizarre thing in the spirit. I seen a fried egg sitting on top of somebody's head one time. That's the look I gave. I had to take a double take. I might have been hungry, you might have been right. Hey Amen. I was looking. Hey Amen. And I seen that egg. Oh. On top of their head, and I looked again. It was still there, and I'm like, Lord, what are you showing me? He said, They still got some yokes that need to be destroyed. Amen. Some of the, Amen. Have yokes of bondage. Amen. That's just been broken. Let me tell you, if we break some of the yoke, brother, only some of it arms out, but some of it's still intact. Amen. He is a destroyer of the yokes of bondage. Amen. If you come into God's house with bondage, uh, Brother Gary, we can walk out free. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what the Holy Ghost does. Yes. He makes people free. He, the Son, sets free. It's free indeed. Amen. And the Bible reads on. Amen. And it says, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. There's a boldness that comes with speaking in the word. Amen. But the house was shaking first. Well, no, no, no. They prayed first. Then the house was shaking. Uh, then they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And then the word was brought. You see, too many people are trying to do things in their self. They spoke the word of God. They spoke the word. Hallelujah. They spoke the word. Amen. Amen. They couldn't do it until they were endued with power of from on high of the Holy Ghost. They couldn't deliver the word. Amen. Amen. The word that you speak cannot have an impact until the Holy Ghost rests upon his people. Oh, come on, church. We're getting a little quiet in here. You know, that tells me it's seed soaking time. Amen. We're soaking it up like a sponge. Amen. Because we need a movement of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We can't have revival without him. Amen. Oh, I'm going to get myself in trouble. The Lord began to just drop something to me. If you have services without the Holy Ghost, all it is is a bunch of meetings. But in order for us to have had what we've already had in this revival, it's because the Holy Ghost overshadowed this building. Oh, God help me. Amen. The people that are inside of the building. Amen. The Bible says that the train of his glory fills the tabernacle. And let me tell you, I want everybody to raise your hand with me. You're the tabernacle. You are the church. He fills his house. Oh, come on, somebody. He fills his house with his glory. He fills us. And if we're filled with the Holy Ghost, Jeremiah said it's like fire shut up in our bodies. Amen. I said it's like a fire. I can't contain it. Amen. I need that fire. I need that anointing. I can't do this on my own. Amen. I can't preach, sister, without him. Amen. Oh, come on. I said, sister, I can't preach without him. I can't sing without him. Amen. Because all I'm just doing is like a sound in a sound brass. Amen. Amen. Oh, but I'm 
I'm here to tell you today, amen, but it will get in the anointing and flow as he's flowing. So we will see lives transformed. We'll see demons cast out of people. We'll see people saved. We'll see people delivered. We'll see people healed. But not until we get up. Just to come here. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to use you as an example. If you're standing there, amen, and the anointing is here, amen, the thing you've got to do is step forward and put yourself in a position to receive what God is doing. Amen, friend. Put yourself in a position to receive what God has for you. Uh, obedience. It's better than sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. And it goes on. And it says, And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Nowadays, amen, they got their heart set against this one and against that one. Amen. And the heart of God is just there laying in the open. Amen. And they wonder why the church is being inadequate. Amen. In their mission to reach the lost. Help me, Brother King. Amen. Oh, but they said they were in hope. What did it say? Amen. They were in one. Amen. In one heart, in one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own. He said nothing that I am doing. Oh, Brother Gary purposed in his heart to say that nothing that I do is of me alone. Amen. But it is for the glory and the honor of the Holy Ghost. Amen of God. Friend, everything that we say and do should point and direct people back to Jesus every single time. Every time we utter a word, amen, it should be in the Holy Ghost. Amen. If not, we should close our mouth. Amen. Because we're wasting our time. If the song you're singing, amen, if God's not in it, go sit down. Come on, brother. If the thing you're saying, if God's not in it, it's time to sit down. Amen. If the, whatever you're doing, if God's not in it, and then you look and say, God bless it. Uh, Brother Gary, amen. God's not going to bless something amen. that he didn't instruct you to do. It's time to get back yeah. in the path of the Holy Ghost. And train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Why'd you throw that preacher in there? Why'd you throw that in that preacher? Amen. Because, amen, when you train somebody up to follow after God, amen, they'll know the moving of God. Amen. Come on, man. And it says, and but they had all things common. Everything that they did, they had a common goal. Amen. As a church, we need to have a common goal. As top bottom, it's not to see. Oh, thank you, sister. It's not to see this one and that one. Amen. It's not to see what a sister Samantha's got on. It's not to see whether she's in pants or in a shirt or a skirt. Amen. But it's to see all oh, the Holy Ghost make some changes on the inside. I don't care if you're in a pair of shorts. I don't care if you're in flip flops. I don't care what you're wearing. Come as you are and Jesus will meet you right here at this house. Amen. I don't I don't care where you've been. I just care where you're headed to. Amen. That's the mission of the gospel. Come on, Amen. That's the mission. It's to see people born again. Yes, amen. Amen. Too many people walking around. Amen. With ulterior motives. Come on. Well, how many likes on social media can I get? Somebody might have dropped a mic in here. You could have heard a pin drop. Uh, how many, how many comments? Oh, on TikTok can I get? How many people start looking at me? Hey Amen. Let me tell you something, honey. You need to go back to the altar if that's what you're in this for. I don't care what like I said the other night. I don't care if it's Brother Gary preaching, myself, or Jordan, or whomever preaches the word. Amen. As long as they're under the anointing, as long as the, 
as long as Jesus is speaking through them, amen, it can be a woman, a man, it can be whoever it can be, amen, you just speak the word and do as God would have you do, amen, brother Ken said it earlier, he said if you go home with a word on your heart, it's nobody's fault but your own, if you put a song on your heart and you walk out them doors, it's on you, it's not on the preacher, it's not on the, it's not on the music leaders, it's not the instrument players, it's on you. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Changing over to the other scripture the Lord pointed out to me. Amen. If you'll flip over there with me, that's good. St. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven su suffereth violence and the violence Take it by force. So if you need something from the Lord, it's time to stop being passive. Oh God help me. It's time to stop being passive. It's time to start being violent about it. It's time to declare war against the enemy. So you can't have my breakthrough. You can't have my healing. You can't have my you can't have my miracle. You can't have it. Amen. I'm making the declare of war that the church is marching over. We are victorious. We're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So what you need tonight, amen, you've just got to get yourself, amen, in a position in one place and one accord. As the book of Acts chapter 2 says, amen, in one accord, in one place. Your mind and your emotions out of the way and begin to get in a position, then you can have revival start with you. Amen. Come on, bro. But the violent take it by force. So I don't know about you, but Paul said, I fought a good fight, I finished my course. There's a crown laid up of righteousness for me. So if that be the case, I'm going to have to fight a little bit. I can't be a weak back wimp Christian. Come on, church. I can't be a wimp. I can't be a pushover. I can't be spineless. I can't let what people do to me hinder me. Hello? I can't let uh, a brother, brother Pedro, I can't let what everybody does to me hurt me all the time. Amen. I'd be in the awfulest shape there was. If every time I preach a word, people always get offended. Amen. I believe the Bible talks about it like this. That the master of the word, uh, amen, will offend all. Amen. Why is that? Amen. Because the word, you can either make a choice to move up, step up, or get run over. It's on you. Amen. Because I want to move up and grow a little bit. I know this isn't a popular message. But this is what the Lord put on my heart earlier today. The Lord let me know, amen, that his people, amen, stand all the time and, and, and whine and cry because somebody stole their seat. Come on, man. <laughs> they whine and cry, amen, because somebody took their pocket spot. Come on. They whine and cry because somebody sang their song. They mad at, at Brother Dolly or Brother Gary because they didn't get their songs sang. Amen. When are we going to start saying, what does the Lord want to be done in my life? Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. When you set your feelings aside, brush them off and get a little bit of callous behind you. Amen. And you'll start to say, amen. It's just a trick of the enemy. Amen. A snare of the power. It's just a snare of the yeah. enemy trying to bind me up and stop me from ministering and doing what I've got to do for God. Yeah. When yeah. It's time. We've got to, oh, we've got to be water on the duck's back. We've got to move forward and learn how to deal with it on our knees. Amen. 
were so used to going to the telephone to tell Tommy and to tell Sue. Uh, we take it to social media and post it in bold letters. Amen. Amen. That doesn't do another bit of good for us. How about we take it to our knees in prayer and seek God and seek Him and watch things happen. I had some individuals uh, talking bad about me. And you know what the Lord told me, brother? Uh, brother Gary said, shut your mouth. Come on now. Amen. And that's hard for me to do. Amen. I'm a talker. Amen. I'm good at talking. Amen. But the Lord said, shut your mouth. And guess what I have to do? Or I was going to be taken to the woodshed by the Holy Ghost. So I had to quiet myself. Be still to my heart. Be still to my emotions. And the Lord said, you'll sit there. You're not going to move. Amen. But you're going to sit there. Amen. I said, God, when are you going to take me out of this place? Because they're still talking about me. He said, stay there. Sit there. I lift your hands. Amen. And worship me. You just continue. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. To praise your way through no trouble. To press through. Even when everything's a mess. And then all of a sudden I begin to get joy. <laughs> I begin to get a little bit of pep in my step. Amen. I begin to continue to get a little bit more peace. I got a little bit temp more temperance. I got a little bit more uh, patience. I didn't pray for them. Uh, they just come. Amen. Hallelujah. They just come my way because of the joy. I endured. Then all of a sudden, my emotions were out the way. Come on, man. Every time I remembered, the Lord let me know I had to forgive him again. Yeah. And again. Exactly and again. Right. And when I seen him in public, Brother Pork, I couldn't stub my nose up at him. Come on. I, I began to have love for my enemies. What's the Bible say? Oh, to feed them oh, when they're hungry and when they're thirsty to give them drink. And do it so the heat calls the fire upon their hands. Amen. When you begin to get yourself in that position, amen. And you can sit at the table with your Judas. And you can begin to eat with them. Amen. Like Jesus did. That's when you've got yourself in a position to receive from heaven where you can be in the midst of all hell breaking loose. When you're in the midst of all hell breaking loose, your money's going funny. Oh, the mortgage is way past due. Amen. You lay it off on your job. Amen. And you begin to have peace. Oh, come. And contentment to come. You begin to know that my God shall supply all the need according to his riches and glory. Amen. It's a promise. What's his promises? Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Amen. But if you want something from God, if you sit back, Sister Samantha, I'm getting mad. Amen. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Gary, if they sit back, I'm getting mad. Amen. Because I know, amen, that God showed up for me. Amen. It's a miracle specialized for me. So whether you get what you want out of the service, amen, you're not going to hinder me. Get up out of my way or get run over one way or another. Amen. Because I'm getting what I need from God tonight. I didn't come to revival to take up space. I didn't come to do what I want. I come to get what God's got for me. Amen. Amen. But we need Amen. to declare war. We need to quit setting back Twiddling our thumbs, expecting things to continue the way they are. We're used to it. Well, that's the way the church has been since Grandma of the ninth generation was around. Did he say, Behold, I do a new thing? Behold, I do a new thing. Behold. I do a new thing. So if God's doing a new thing, I know that he's still the same God as he was then. 
He's the same God from yesterday, today, and forever, and He changes not. So what He did back then, He can do it today. But I tell you right now, oh, what did Jesus say? Greater works that you'll do than I did. Amen. Friend, that's what I'm here to do, is to do the work of my Father in heaven. I've seen a lot through the years. I see so much strife, envy, jealousy. Yeah. And I sit back and I'm like, God, this is not for me. You know, he said I'm not the author of confusion. Amen. Too much confusion going on. People don't know. You got an identity crisis. Don't even know if they're a man or a woman. Don't even know. And most importantly, they don't even know who they are in Christ. When you learn who you are in Him, you won't care what anybody else says. You won't care what anybody else says. Sister, when you know who in whom you believe, and you know the lover of your soul, you won't care about nothing else. If you hear from heaven, Brother Gary, everybody in the world can be perturbed at you, but you know who sent you. You know in whom you believe. Friend, tonight, I know in whom I believe. I know who is the lover of my soul. I know who set me free. I know who healed me when I was sick in the hospital. Four years ago, my precious son, January the 23rd, of 2020 laid in the hospital and punctured a hole in his lung and I sat there and I prayed over it Brother Bork I said Lord I know you can raise him I began to speak the word over myself I declared Ezekiel 16 and 6 but let me tell you after it all, he still was gone. And I could hear the devil say it through people, said this will be the end of his ministry. You know what I got to say? Hey, devil, I'm still here. Amen. It's been four years. Four years. But I'm still here, church, I'm still here. I said, Lord, I can't do this. He said, but I know you can, but I can. Yes, you can. Brother Dolly, he can. Well, then the Lord spoke to me, Brother Keith. Well, bro. I scheduled a preacher to preach. The Lord said no. Shh. He said no. He said you're going to do it. So I had to preach a grave sign to my precious son. And as I was fixing to go do it, he spoke a word to me. He said if you'll continue to serve me and you'll continue to live for me. I'm just babysitting him until you get home. Let me tell you something, friend. What a promise that is. When you begin to trust in the Lord, when he speaks to you, amen, in the Lord, amen, move in that funeral. Amen, I can feel such a peace. Amen, it was like my tears were dried up. Amen, why? Because I knew, amen, he was bound for a city. Amen, called glory that those gates swung Still worth the journey. Heaven is still worth the journey. 
everything for me because I know in whom I believe. Oh, there's a song says I held on till the storm was over. I don't know about you, hey, but I'm still holding on. I'm still going on. I tell you what, devil, you're a liar. I'm the father of it. I'm sister Amanda. I've got my foot on the rock and my mind's made yeah. up. Come on now. So regardless, come what may, I've got work to do. Sometimes I feel like Elijah under the juniper tree. Said, Lord, why don't you let me die? Why don't you just let me die? I'm being honest. Some days I'm not holier than thou. Some days I'm troubled. Sometimes, hey amen, sometimes I'm troubled on every side. Hey amen. But the Bible that I read says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Hey amen, I don't know about you what's left after all. Hey amen, but God's going to deliver us from every affliction. Hey amen, Sister Amanda, every trouble that comes our way. Hey amen, there's deliverance at the foot of the cross. Every time, hey amen, that you walk through, every, every prior, know that God's going to bring you through. But you've got to be violent. You've got to put the whole armor of God on in order to stand the wiles of the enemy. You've got to get in the word and get the word in you. Too many times people only read the word when the preacher's preaching. Amen. But let me tell you something, brother. Amen. I need the word on Monday. Amen. I need hear from Jesus before I walk in the Walmart. I don't know about nobody else. Hey, but I need to hear from Jesus before I go into the grocery store. I need to hear from him before I go anywhere. Hey, Amen. But before I start my day. Hey, Amen. There's a song that says, when I start my day with you, Lord. Hey, Amen. There's nothing I can't do. Hey, Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Hey, Amen. When you start getting up early, I'm an early bird. Hey, Amen. Some of them don't wake up until the crack of noon. Oh, but me, I like to get up early, Brother Gary. Amen. Before I have to get out and go to work. Amen. I like to spend my time with my Jesus the first thing in the morning. Before I even get up out of bed. Amen. I'm laying there reading my Bible. I'm getting my Bible on the inside of me. Amen. It started to walk different. I started to talk different. I started to do things a little different. The things that I used to do, I no longer do them because there's a maturity in the work that we do for God. I don't know about you, but I'm poor kid. But I don't have to feel his presence just to the church house. I can feel it on the truck. I'm going down the road. One time I was going down the road, the anointing fell so strong up in my truck, just me and the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you right now, I had to pull over praise. Hey Amen. I pulled that truck over and I got out of that truck. I took off a, a, a four scuffing in across that parking lot. I felt the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey Amen. It's time for the church. Hey Amen. To have time with the Holy Ghost. Not just in the church house. Bring it with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll go with you until the end. Hey Amen. If he made that promise, hey Amen. We need to make a promise to him. You'll be faithful to him. To love him. Hey Amen. What did, what did John the Baptist say? He said, I was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Amen. Let me tell you, he was on the Isle of Patmos. He was in a place. Amen. But the Lord showed up. If you're in the valley, the Lord will show up. If you're on the mountain, he'll show up. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I want him to show up. He, need, he can feel free. Stop me any day. If he's got something to say tonight, I feel the anointing moving in a different direction. I'm a firm believer that when the anointing's done in the preaching, I'm done. I'm not saying no more. I'm not saying no less. 
How many of you come today with all things common? How many of you come for the place to be shaken? Come on, bro. How many of you come tonight for you to be shaken? Come on, bro. It's not fun when you're shaken. Amen, but when you're shook, dead weights have to fall. I watch you, sister, get in tonight. Oh, good God. He blessed you right good. Didn't he? Blessed you right good. You too. He blessed you right good. Why? Because you got yourself in a place where you were willing to let him shake you. I come tonight. Holy Ghost shake. Break through me. Break through my doubt. Break through my guilt. Break through my insecurities. Oh, sister, I want him to break through all of the hindrances. Do you know a hindrance is something behind you? Hide. It's behind you. So that means it's over with, right? When I, when I look at it and something behind you means it's over with, let it go. Move on. Tonight, before I'm going to grab and get a song ready, Church, it's your choice. It's your choice. Why don't you song? It's your choice tonight to walk out in bondage or walk out whole. This is revival. This is revival. This is something that we can play with. Or we can take it serious. It's up to you. What you get out of this revival is up to you. I know we're tired. It's been three nights. But I just don't feel like God's done. I don't believe that God's finished. Tonight, I seen the Holy Ghost blow through here like you would not even believe. But I just don't believe He's finished. He's not done yet. So that means if God's not done in this revival yet, that means that we need to continue to stay in the position to receive. Amen. Say there's only a few of us here. Tonight. Hey, he said whether two or three are gathered in my name, I'll be in the midst. I'm looking forward to another time tomorrow. Oh, come on, you can fly right? Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray with to come down tomorrow. Amen. Say, who's going to preach? The Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I said, the Holy Ghost. Who's going to sing? The Holy Ghost. Amen. Who's going to play the instruments? The Holy Ghost. Amen. Who's going to deliver people? The Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. Who's going to set the captive free? Amen. The Holy Ghost. Amen. Who's going to come by and save the lost? The Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but tomorrow, I'm looking forward to my blessing tomorrow. I'm Amen. looking forward. I got my blessing and I don't know about you. Amen. I'm going to feast on that man tonight and I'm going to take it home with me. I'm going to eat on that steak tonight, that living young steak and taters. Amen. I'm going to feast on it, sister, and I'm going to go home and I'll come back tomorrow expecting for God to move and stronger than he did tonight. This has been the best tonight yet. But guess what? There's an old song that says, the best is yet to come. <laughs> yeah, amen. Oh, nothing good comes to those that don't wait. Amen. And I'm waiting on the Lord tonight. Amen. How many of you can put your hands together for Jesus tonight? <laughs> it's time this a place to pray. How many? I'll buy a show of hands in this place. How many of you got lost love ones? Oh, how many of you need a touch from the Lord? How many of you got prayer requests between you and the Lord? Come find your place to pray. There should be a, there should be a pew that's got people in it. We all need to find us a place to pray. We need to seek the face of God. Amen. While he may be found. Amen. He's here tonight. Amen. To the brokenhearted. Amen. Would you find your place to come and lay your needs before the Lord? Amen. Come and pray. Come and preach. 
church, come. He's simply begging and pleading with you today to come. Amen. Kneel around the altar. Amen. And seek his almighty face. Amen. Seek him. Come. Come. Wherever you are. Amen. Come. Come. Amen. Come. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Amen. Because there is a place at the altar for you. There's a blessing with your name on it. There's a miracle with your name on it. Amen. Come. Simply come. And the Lord will meet you at this altar. He'll meet you here. Amen. That's all it takes. It's for you to bow down and cry out to him. Amen. And you'll see God move. Would you come? Find your place in the room. If you don't need, if you need deliverance, if you need a savior, if you need a miracle, I don't play to be a hero. 